Tinkercad friends, I've got another brand new code blocks lesson for you. When you enter code blocks, click that new design button and we are going to name this one Pyramid. This is the most fancy one that we've created yet. I'm going to put my initials after it and let's see how quickly we can build a cool pyramid. Start by bringing out a object and renaming it and calling it brick. Now, if you're going to make bricks, you need things like length, width, and height. So let's create these three variables by dropping out the variable and renaming it to width. Grab another variable and drop it out and rename it length. And then bring out the last variable for this part and rename it height. With those three variables in place, let's bring out our shape that we're going to use. We need a box, and then in the variables, we want to drop in the width, length, and height. Put them in the correct boxes. There is width, there is length, there is height. We want both of these to be 1 and 1, and then we need to put in the magic numbers that we're going to work with. We are going to use 10. We are going to use five and we are going to use six for the height of our bricks. You can hit play and watch your amazing brick draw. Notice if we look at it from the front, it draws at zero, zero. So we need to raise it up. We are going to do that with the move command and we could type a number, but instead we're going to do some math, bring out the math operation and we're going to simply grab the height brick and we're going to divide it by two because that's how high the brick needs to raise because remember it draws at zero, zero. Once we have a brick, it's time to make a layer. So click on rename variable and name it layer. With our new object layer, we need to bring in a new variable and we're going to name it max. Simply rename type max and tell it OK and then we want to set that to 6 and 6 will be how many bricks that we create and we're going to create with the count with we're going to go from 0 and then grab that max variable and put it in the 2 box layers are going to be made with bricks so we need to find the amazing add a copy tool we want to add a copy of our brick so we drop that variable in this location. I want to make it show up with a brown color. And then every brick that draws has to move. You could type in the numbers, but it is so much cooler if you do some amazing math for the numbers. This math is the easiest that we'll do. First, drop out your math operation down below, change it to multiplication, and we need to do the width times the variable i to move them across. Lift that up from its middle and drop it in the X box and then hit play to watch it happen. Boom, you've got the start of layer one of your pyramid. We're gonna use that same add copy trick to get the second layer. Once again, bringing out the layer variable and then this is kind of cool because it's going to make a layer larger because we're using a layer within layer. That's a tricky sentence, but watch how it works. Bring out the rotate. We want to rotate around Z and we're going to rotate 90 degrees and we are going to pivot with the XYZ location, but we're going to do some super amazing math for where this rotates. This piece of amazing math is going to have three math operators to build it. Make sure you set them far apart so it's easier to assemble them. And we are going to simply do width times max. We're going to set this one to subtraction and then width divided by two. So we get an extra half of a brick to assemble this piece of math, grab under the math operator of the first part and put it in the first hole. Grab under the math operator of the second part and put it in the second hole. And then finally lift under the math operator of the entire thing and drop it in 
the X location. When you hit play, I'll have this on fast mode, and boom, we've got two pieces of our layer. We do this again, simply going to modify and adding another copy, although what's cool is this time the copy already has both pieces. Once again, data, bring out your layer, drop it in the hole. We're going to keep the color, but we do need to rotate this new copy. When we rotate this new copy, we're still going around Z, but since there's a half of a pyramid bottom, we are rotating 180 degrees. With math, bring out your XYZ, and now we need to build the math function that puts it where it needs to be. Start with two math operations. There's one, there's two, and the first one needs to have max times length. The second one needs to be set to subtraction, and we are going to subtract the length. Grab your first math operator and drop it where the zero was, so it now says math times length minus length, and then put that in the X hole. I'm going to slide our screen to the right so it's easier to see where we're building Y right now. It also has two math operators, so bring those down below. This time we're going to do zero take away because we want to create a negative Y value. And we're going to subtract the max times the length. Pick up this underneath its math operator in the middle and put it in the block. Then grab this entire block. Make sure you go under the math operator to get a good grip and put it in the Y hole. So just Z ends with zero. When you hit play, if you built it all correctly, you will have the entire first layer of our pyramid. Let's wrap this project up with a brand new object that actually makes the entire pyramid. Once again, hit rename variable and let's name it pyramid and then tell it OK. I'm going to slide this up because I don't need to see my old code anymore. I'm going to create another variable and it's going to be called scale. So I'm going to hit math and create variable and I'm going to rename it once again. And this one will be named scale. You can adjust this number later, but right now we're going to put in 0.95. Scoot over to the control and find another count width. Make it from zero to seven. Once again, another number you can play with later. But for now, stick with what I got you. Move back to the amazing modify and grab another copy of an object. And this time our copy of an object is going to be the layer object, which you can grab from data and layer and drop in the hole. I'm going to keep the color the same. And then we just need to modify it with a move so it goes up in the air. Once again, we'll do that with math. Drop your operator down below switch to multiply and we want to do the height times J by now you should be good at grabbing these underneath and putting them where they go this one goes in Z and now we're going to use the new operator scale and under data we are going to grab our scale variable and this is what makes it so awesome is it will adjust as we adjust it when you're playing with it. And then to make it really, really awesome, we need to find math and do a special change item. So during every loop, we're going to change the item scale. Make sure you click that. And we're going to reduce it by negative 0.1. Make sure you type negative 0.1 or it'll grow in the wrong directions. I'll leave it up to you to build this and click the magic button to see it all happen right now. The last piece that I'm going to show you before you play with this and just have fun seeing what kind of cool things you make are to delete the objects and let's use the control C control V trick so that you get two of those and then we just want to delete our original brick and our original layer. Simple drag, simple drop. 
Friends, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this cool project. If you did, please hammer that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button, click notifications if you want to know immediately when I make a new video. And if you got a question or a comment, please add it down below. Friends, thanks for watching and keep tinkering.